Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 14 of Let's Play Stellaris Utopia to Master Evolution, my friend Zach. I have taken the first step on the evolution to make a secondary species of my main. That's fine. Uh, so now I can colonize uh, desert planets and arid. Oh, no, just... No, I can still colonize desert. Oh, it's alpine. Yeah, no. What the fuck is the difference between these two, then? <laughs> Not much, apparently. I don't know. Hmm. I have two months till gene tailoring, though. See, if I had a Gaia planet, I could actually call, change the species on the Gaia planet and then ship them over to another planet, and it'd be fine, but... And you've got gene tailoring. Well done. Well, I want one month to it, but yeah, well, two months. Yeah, that's what I got engineered evolution, which means it costs so much cheaper to have engineer. Cool. And once I've got the master evolution, I'm going to make these special... Each of these different species, I'm going to modify them to make them brilliant. That's going to be fun. Yes, it's gonna be amazing. Research complete. Might make my guys adaptable. Nah, I've got, I've got, I've got gene warriors. I need those first. So wood defecan. I like that. It makes it easy to know that they like the tro they prefer tropical preference. Most because there's no wooded, really wooded worlds. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not there. So how are you going to colonize every type of planet, dude? I have absolutely no idea. Not far away yet. Are you just going to like assimilate other species? I don't know. That's probably going to be the safest and way I'm to do it. I'm saying I don't know because I literally have no idea how to do any of that stuff. Well, basically you colonize a planet and then you change them. I like, say I colonized a... Uh, Actually, no, I don't want. I don't need zero point reactor right now. Uh, like that. Right, you know what? I colonized a tropical world ages ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what I did is I went to species. I clicked on my main species. I pressed modified. I clicked on the tropical world itself, and then I changed them to tropical preference. It's very simple. It's pretty easy. I'm gonna actually. Choose, I'm gonna change my continental guys now to continental preference. Mm, they want 500 minerals for 15 stones. Uh, now, what can I call my uh, continental species? I actually don't know what I can call them, Zach. You have fun with that. I I'm down to normal until figure. I think of a name. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to build and where. A little spaceport, but I want to relax and save my minerals for a minute. Uh, governor, though. Um, don't want to call him. There we go. No governor there. Whoops. Hmm. Dude, I need seriously. I need help think of a name for them. For continental worlds. Yeah. What would you call elves that would like preferred continental stuff? Because this whole idea is based off of elves, but I couldn't be bothered using elves because I already used them, so... Huh. <laughs> I will still get tech done while I'm doing this, but... <laughs> Somehow. Right, need a name. You can't think of the name. Seriously, what would you call continental elves? Uh, gosh. Construction complete. I honestly have no clue. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, I can't. I, I, it's just... Low? No, because... No, that's just... That's denoting that they're subservient and they're not. Fuck. I actually can't think. <laughs> Shit. Um... Let's do that. Well, this is top-notch commentary, ladies and gentlemen. Best. Oh, the best. Uh, it's the best around, you know. It is really not fucking brilliant. It is a uh, ten out of ten, you know. Ten out of ten IGN, man. Yeah. Actually, no. Sorry, too much water for me. I'm two out of ten. Hmm. Like how the guy uh, next to me is terraforming like three worlds, and he probably really shouldn't be doing them because he's terraforming them from air to desert. But I, mean, I guess they're closer to what he needs. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I will. Oh, it, they won't perfect, so which I don't blame them. It's smart. Continental. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to get there. It's costing a lot of money to do it, though. 
So that's that's dope. Oh, let's see, he's equivalent to me. Oh, that's unfortunate. But I'll get there. Just to uh, upgrade. Available. Ripper auto cannon. How can I not think of a fucking name? <laughs> it's your problem. It is my, my problem. Figure it out. Technologist. Check. Why do these guys own oh, synth envy traditions of the decay, discovery, and dull edge? Oh, that's not very nice. Scientists gained a level. That's the fun stuff. The three unit. Wow. Man, I like, I like what the face, what the face worlds. They're superior. It's oh, not nice. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, on my front, you're just looking at the same screen, so I'm trying to figure out something. Uh huh, the name. Mm hmm. You got this, Joe. You can do it. No, I haven't. Fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, you don't have it at all, you're gonna fail horrendously. I can't think of, I'm not, I can't just call them land death cans, can I? I mean... Nah, fuck it. <laughs> if you want to be lazy... No, because land's, land's just too simple. Like a continental world, what's like the most Mountain. noticeable feature? I don't know. That would be alpine. Oh. Hill, no. Well... Maybe. Fuck it, hill. <laughs> I can't. I can rename them later. It's all good. No, oh, that's good. Like I just remodify them and we're done. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. They are now known as hill death cans because, well, I need to know the difference between them. There's more of them than there are wood ones. <laughs> I almost have warp drive three. I do like how I'm now seg changing all my populace, but the thing is, they're all they still get the same rights. If you know what I mean? Yeah, they're just like slightly different in some cases. No, they're just they're just adapted. It's yeah. like forced ad adaptation. <laughs> it's like, you will fucking adapt. Yeah. It's like, okay, then I'm adapting. Rut row. You're not fucking Scooby Doo, stop it. Oh, there we go. The game froze for a minute. Like, uh oh. That's not good. Yeah, it's fine now, though. I, I clicked on your world, but you have so many ships, it took a minute for it to load up. I only have 125 fleet power worth. <sighs> like, if you think this is many, you're gonna hate late game. Oh, I'm sure I am going to hate it immensely. Mostly because I'm going gonna go for a couple of hundred k fleet, <laughs> unless we, I'm able to destroy the uh, Felmar Guardians before they awaken. Hmm. I don't see then that happening. It's gonna get decimated. <laughs> no, if I can destroy them before they awaken, they'll be fine. If they awaken, it's I don't gonna... know what the spiritualist ones do when they're awakened. I don't know what they're like. They're probably gonna go for their go to colonize their Gaia worlds and then go from there. Potentially. I really, really want to colonize the Gaia world because it'd be so useful, but at the same time, it's like, how dumb am I? I'm, I'm not dumb enough to do it. Guardian point defense. Ooh, I want to get that, but it's a lot. Take a while. Eh. You've got barrier point defense already? Yeah, I think I do. Read a bit. Guardian. Well, if you're getting Guardian, you have. Yep. Guardian's yeah, gonna, the third one. I'm going to get antimatter. Oh, that takes a while, too. Yeah, whatever. Got antimatter. Antimatter. Um... Power. Reactor, yeah, I already got that. I'm gonna rename my- I'm gonna re-change my main species. Okay. Upgrade ships. Okay, I can't modify my main species because I don't actually want to change anything. <laughs> I just want to make them different. If you know, I just want to rename them. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Ships upgrade. Could get rid of slow breeders, but nah, it doesn't take too long actually. Actually, you no, know I'm not making anywhere near as much as I need for that. So no, can't do that. Negative. It's unfortunate, isn't it? That's a negatory, yeah. I think what I what I really need is uh, to be have uh, to master evolu evolutionary mastery so everything gets really cheap. Oh wait! What? Oh god! Having a problem there, man? Like energy crash just tanked for some reason. Colony ship. 
no. Over your limit. No, they're just it's just tanked for for no reason. Actually, there'll be a reason. Why are There's always a reason, dude. On? Station maintenance. No, produce module. Uh, shit. I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah, I'm not sure why it tanked. That's weird. Unless I mistook something and it spiked. I don't think it did. Uh, Was I giving you energy credits? I don't think so. Oh, we got a little spit note space port to add on. How much money are you losing? Only minus one. I was giving you energy credits. I was, but I was at like plus like a lot though. That's the thing. How much is a lot though? Like fifteen. Yeah. It just. Tanked. I gave you energy credits. I had a feeling I had. Yeah, they're actually building a bunch of stations as well. That's probably another reason probably why. Oh yeah, stations take a lot of money, but... I also can definitely remember giving you stuff. Where are... I just gotta get those Paradise Domes out, you know what I'm saying, man? Mm -hmm. Do you even know what Paradise Dome is? Nope. Basically, it's a hydroponic farm that also gives you unity. Huh. It's basically really fucking useful. That is uh, interesting. And luckily, I have way too many mineral resources, so I can build a shit ton of them. That's cool. Oh, I'm currently building one in every single planet just because I can. Hmm. And are... also, I know for a fact that I need the unity, so. Hmm. Damn it. It annoys me because I can't actually. I uh, don't really have any else to build uh, things to get energy credits. Unless I just, yeah, I, I gotta build, I can build, I mean, I can build three stations and go from there. Always, put it this way, your first upgrade on a station, always build solar panel networks. Yeah, that's what I did when, with most of the other ones <clears> that I built. All of them. Always, always, always have your first there. Yeah. Also, make sure your fleet is orbiting your state at home. It is orbiting my home. Gotta make sure, because that will lose you credits as well. That's it. Move them, and then move them back. Yeah, it's well, minus 22. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, minus. Yeah, it's just going down because I think it's all the stations I'm building. Yeah, well, everything you build requires credits to maintain. Almost done with. Well, yeah, getting close to being complete. done with these, so it's fine. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Oh, okay. Yes. And by the way, the only reason I'm giving you it is because I can afford to. Yeah, it's just my Don't stations. Worry. It's just my stations at the moment that are just killing me. Once those are done and I can just start stabilizing everything, it'll be better off. You know? Oh. Sure, I know what you mean. Sure. Uh, oh, that right there. Upgrade <laughs> that to get me more energy. Okay. Upgrade that too. Oh, that requires that. It's fine. <laughs> Construction complete. So, dude, what are you planning to do this part? Because I feel I think we should go to war with the uh, Unidar. I'm not quite. I'm still building up my fleet, so I'm trying to anyway. Uh, fair enough. I mean, if you if you're gonna take that fucking long, I just gotta build like four, seven more ships. But it's taking a while because I'm having to build up the re upgrade stuff to get, keep my energy credits decent, be good, you know. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not worried. Don't worry about it, dude. I'm not gonna judge you much. Probably. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, solar panels. Solar panels. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. I don't want to give you an active sensor link. Slaving despots. Theocratic dictatorship. Fanatical. Who's offering you that anyway? The Nafataffa Taffa Taffa Foundation? I feel like it's the. Nat Fan Khan Foundation, I think you'll find. Yeah, whatever. Oh, they're like... They're What's ne wrong with slaving despots? No, they're next... To, actually, they're next to the Star Realm of Zweef. Exactly. It's probably a good idea to be friends with them. Yep. <clears throat> oh, they're, uh... They're wormhole stations. They actually like... Well, they like me a lot, actually. Trust and charismatic rulers. They do not like me because I'm, I'm, I'm materialistic. 
I'm a choice hate people I'm that are materialistic, materialistic as well, but they just trust me a lot, apparently. Which is cool. You've got other reasons for them to be friends with you. you your people are charismatic, you said, don't, aren't they? Yeah. Yep. Being charismatic gets you quite far in this game. You're also a xenophile, which means people like you anyway, generically like you just because of the fact that you've got an actual automatic bonus with them. Good to know. How many factions you got, dude? Factions? Mm-hmm. Well, I got four at the moment. Two like me, one is sort of middle, and one is 35% because they're a techno te technologist faction. And Fair enough. Apparently I'm dull-edged, synth, synth envy, and traditions of discovery. Wait, Construction wait. complete. Am I, I, should, I have not looked at my science faction. Path to victory committee? No, it's the... Yeah, I have a dull edge as well. And synth envy, which is always going to be... A, to be fair, the scientific community and I never get on in this game. <laughs> they want one thing and I tell them to fuck off. It's not how it works. <laughs> nice. I'm not fucking wasting my minerals on synths. Synths aren't trustworthy. <laughs> if you. synths would, like, not try and murder me all the fucking time, I might like them. But seeing as they, for the mo every time I've ever tried to use a synth, which is once, they once. tried to kill me. And it wasn't technically me, it was me watching a YouTube video, and it, was, it didn't look fun. It did not look all that well. Never, I, like I said, I've never gone past robots. Although, actually, willingly. I found the issue why I was actually losing a lot of energy cards. I, I totally forgot. On my main planet, I have a a uh, power plant level 2 that's giving me 6 energy credits, and apparently the, the pop there keeps moving away. <laughs> and it was really... I really <laughs> yeah. <sighs> my luck, right? This is why you don't allow migration. Uh, Would you like to learn how to disallow migration? Policies and edicts. Mm -hmm. Resettlement. Migration. Migration. No, resettlement's allowed. That's when you forcibly move them. What you want to stop is something that I can't tell you how to stop because I haven't got it. Because they're not allowed. Uh, the resettlement's fine. It's which one is it? It's mine's not on there, but mm -hmm. migration is a separate e policy. Construction complete. If you go to your species and you set you set the rights for your species, if you enable migration controls, they can't move anyway. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, make sure migration controls are enabled, and you'll be fine. But now I'm actually finally being able to upgrade goddamn uh, stuff because I'm upgrading my uh, my app, my planetary administration administrations and stuff. Congratulations. Yeah, power plant. Yes. So I'm making 105 minerals. I'm okay with minerals for right now. I make 144. I make 105. I mean, well, you think you're better than me now? You just have more, a lot, a ton more space than I do at the moment, really. Well, and just really, probably have just a lot of minerals. No, we have the exact same amount of space. Construction complete. If you look, you've got all the space you've got in the north. It's about the same as I've got in the south, whereas my space in the north is about the same you've got in the south. So actually, we've got ex near enough the exact same Major amount of space. enhancement selected lineages. What? Yes, do it. Cool. They live longer. They cost a lot more, but they live longer, and that's all that matters. Yep, pretty much. My lead is 127. He ain't going to die for a long-ass time. Yeah, mine is 71 at the moment. I've got a couple leader lifespans. So I think I, a couple ten percent at least I think. So yeah. Ten years, years. Yeah. It's not. There's no percentage for how long they live. No, oh, a couple ten. It's years random. Yeah, it's random. Extra. Well, the game works out on average lifespan, and then it, they can live longer or less than that. I see. If I remember, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So I know there's no set day you can die because I've had leaders that live to 200, I've had leaders that live to 250, with only some of the. Uh, Speed. This that's before like that. I mean, like basic, with yeah, enduring. So I think I understand. They can live a certain amount of years, and just it depends basically. Kind of like the Europa games and CK2, just average age, kind of. Pretty much, yeah. There's an average age where they will live to, and then they you can increase that obviously, or they'll die young. Mm -hmm. I found the sick the Sigma Enclave as well. The Harmonious Entente would like to extend association status to me. All right, fair enough. Wait a minute, is that the one this dickhead's part of? No, it isn't. It's all right then. I'll let the Harmonious. Who, who the fuck are the Harmonious Entente then? 
Construction uh, complete. Well, they're weaker than me. That's all I need to know. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually going to have to end this part here. We hope you guys have enjoyed, and we'll see you guys next part. See you guys then. Bye-bye.